Hey guys, I'm back. Today I decided to film something sultry and dark and shimmery. I don't know, I'm still on that shimmer and glitter wagon. Like, I don't want to hop off yet. I don't know, I'm like loving the whole glitter feel right now. <laughs> So yeah, so for this look, I used the Aubergine Shadow by Anastasia, but I did actually use another shadow from the Artist Palette, and Aubergine is actually in this palette. So if you don't have the single shadow and you have this palette, by all means, just use this. You don't even need to use these two shadows. You can definitely use something that's similar that you already own. I said that really weird, already own. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, I just felt like this was laying here, so I just kind of wanted to use the pan over the palette, and I think that should be it. <laughs> so if you guys want to stick around to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So the first shadow that I'm going into is Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is start running this shadow through my crease with a Sigma E25 blending brush. I love this brush. It's currently really dirty at the moment, but... If you need any brush in your collection, this is definitely the one that you need. Now for that purple shadow, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Aubergine. So with a Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush by Sigma, I'm going to start packing on the shadow on the outer corner and inner corner. And then I'm going to start blending slightly in the middle to join up and try avoiding this entire middle area. And another brush that I really love is this one. It's so perfect for patting on shadow and it's so soft still to do some blending. So I always pack on my shadow and then if I ever want to bring it up to my crease, I'll use this same brush to start sweeping it through here and then I'll go back in with the E25. So those two brushes are seriously staples in my collection. I need them so bad. <laughs> A lot of you ask me which brushes I use and this brush the E54 and then the Sigma E25 are my favorites and the Sigma E06 for a winged liner that one's amazing so if you guys want I mean there's a coupon code down below just click on the link and you can head over and use that coupon code but you guys just always ask me what brushes I use so I figured I would let you guys know which three are my to die for brushes <laughs> now I just went back into that Sigma E25 brush and I picked up some of Dusty Rose on the tip and I'm going to start lightly applying this at the very edge of my crease. And then I'm going to blend this aubergine shadow out. I want this to be all very blended. Now for that pop of pink shimmer, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in pink champagne. Now I'm going to pack on some of this shadow into that middle area that we left blank. And I'm doing this with a Sigma E58 brush. But honestly, I think my finger is the best tool for this, especially with titanium and foil shadows. So I'm just going to pack this onto that area. And now with whatever was left on that Sigma E54 brush with that aubergine, I'm just going to blend out the edges. Now going into aubergine again, I'm going to start blending this on my lower lash line. Then I'm picking up some of Cole from the Artist Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now to darken up my lash line, I'm just going to pick up this shadow and I'm going to apply it really close to my lash line. I want it to be really smoked out on my lower lash line. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and I'm picking up Buttery. And then lastly, to highlight my brow bone, I'm just going to tap this on and then start sweeping it through my brow bone and then... Bring it down a little bit to clean up the edges if I went too far with my crease colors. To line my waterline and tightline, I'm taking a Sigma Beauty Standout Eyes Gel Liner in Wicked. Now I'm just going to apply some gel liner. And tightline. Totally just stab myself in the eye. Be careful when you do that. <laughs> I'm now going to apply some mascara and falsies, and the lashes that I'm using are these Ono Lashes in 401. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the eye look done. Okay. 
Okay, so now for lips, I'm going to be taking Palladio's Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color in Tapestry. It is such a pretty dark cranberry, burgundy, blackberry, black cherry-ish color, not blackberry, black cherry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna apply that all over my lips. Do you see how dark that is? It's so pretty. So this is the finished look of my purple smoky eye with a pop of shimmer. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm seriously obsessed with this lip. It's the Palladio Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color in Tapestry and oh, it is beautiful. The formula, it's not, it's weird. It's, it feels like a cream lip color, like exactly how they explain it. It feels like cream rather than like a liquid lipstick and it's not really, it's not really matte. It kind of looks like it has a sheen to it, but I don't hate it. You know I don't like lip glosses, so this is like a lip gloss sort of in between with a liquid lipstick. I don't know, but I'm not hating it. I love the color. I showed you guys that I only applied it once, but then I decided to apply it a second time and make it even darker, so you can definitely get different pigmentations with these. And yeah. I really like it. It feels really moisturizing. My lips have been super dry lately, and this feels really nice and moisturizing on my lips. So during the winter months, these are actually going to be great. So lip creams, you're my new bays. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'll be right here as well as down in the description box. And a list of all the products that I mentioned today will be down in the description box as well. And I think that should be it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!